N4 H and H here. I want to talk about pre-selectors. Uh, this is the Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP Limited, and um, it it has a built-in pre-selector called VRF uh, variable. There it is, variable RF. Now you can also buy an optional pre-selector called a Mu Tuner. And if you have that installed, when you press this button, instead of getting the internal VRF, which you can see as I move it here, it's selecting various different LC networks that will tighten the front end. If you happen to have a, a Mu Tuner hooked up uh, and you press that button, then you're gonna get the uh, Mu Tuner. And you can see it in the display here, VRF or through. If I had a Mu Tuner, it would select the middle, middle would light up and it would say Mu Tuner sometimes called a micro tuner. Now I only have the one for 40, 60 and 80 meters and I'm really pleased with it. But I want you to know that the VRF that's built into the radio is not bad. So take a look here at the uh, spectrum scope. The VRF is currently turned off, receiving this signal here on uh, 30 meters. I want to, what I want you to do is watch the band edges of, uh, in the scope when I, when I engage VRF. Here we go. See them drop off? Look at the, no the noise floor. Watch the noise floor drop. VRF is engaged. VRF is off. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's you know, better than a rig that doesn't have anything. Uh, except just a fixed bandpass filter. The VRF, see, I'm going to engage it, and you adjust it over here, and you can select from these various LC networks. And you can kind of listen to your with the ear or watch the S meter, and you'll know when you're centered up on the frequency you're listening to. What I like to do is use it or the VRF, for noise reduction. So watch this. Uh, come on, send again. There we go. I'll say, what's this? I'm going to sweep it to the left. You can see that, watch the noise floor so it goes back and forth. See that? So I'm going to sweep it to the left and I'm going to drop him down into the edge of the, of the filter. Well, listen to that. As opposed to Get the noise floor back. Okay, noise floor's back. Noise floor gone, using VRF. The external micro tuners do an even better job of it. Uh, what I am fascinated by is on the 20 meter band and 30 meter band, especially 20 meter band, I don't detect any insertion loss with the uh, pre-selector. Let me adjust it back up. So you can hear the noise floor again. There we go. And by the way, I'm not even using uh, contour or APF right now. I'm just using, I've got digital noise reduction on 15. My filter width set at 50. And VRF. I mean, you can turn on APF and I mean, it's icing on the cake, of course. That audio peak filter is uh, really a phenomenal feature. But <clears throat> I just wanted you to see that the VRF that's built in, the, the variable RF pre-selector is not bad. Again, disengage, you're gonna see the noise floor pop back up on the band edges. Cause what it is, is a, it's, it's a pre-selector to try to prevent out of band interference. There it is engaged again. You see the noise floor dropping. Now again, I'm gonna sweep it left. So what's, the, what's the indicator? And I'm going to move it quickly so you can see see the noise floor moving to the right and moving, moving to the left. So I'm actually putting the peak of the filter away from the signal I'm listening to. Now watch the S meter. If I adjust it to the peak, yeah, he's going to have more signal. There, but I'm going to hear more noise floor. If I adjust it away from him, let me let him transmit again. Hopefully he's not finished. 
again, the idea is signal to noise ratio, not S meter readings. I'm going to go over to 20 meters since there's activity there I checked earlier. Let's see. Yep, there it is. So here we are on 20 meters. No VRF. Look at the noise. Look at the band edges. Engaging VRF. Look at the band edges. The noise drop. Tightening the front end. And again, I'll use the same trick over here. And I'm going to intentionally move the center of the noise. Look, look, there it is. Look at that going across. I'm going to move the noise, or I should say the peak of the filter, away from center where my signal is. I'll move it to the left and I'll drop that, my signal down into the edge of that filter where I've got less noise. I will still be able to hear the, uh, the CW signal when it comes back in. Uh, <clears throat> he's not trying to... Oh, there he is. See, I can... I can increase this S meter reading. But then I'm listening to a noise floor, right? Okay. Contour or, or APF can help minimize that. And there's my notch filter trick to take out some of the ring from that uh, steep skirt on that Chevy Chef filter. But I'm saying without any of that, just with the VRF, I can move the peak away from his signal drop the noise floor and then when he transmits I'm still going to hear him very well with a better signal to noise ratio okay so I just wanted to show you guys that even the VRF that's built into the rig is not really a slouch um, but to be fair the mu tuner the external device Mm, man, it's only about one-third the width. I mean, in other words, it's about two-thirds uh, tighter in uh, pre-selection than the uh, built-in VRF is. But, hey, a lot of rigs don't even have VRF. So i um, thankful that we have what we have with the uh, FTDX5000. Okay, uh, again, there I am sweeping. Look at there, moving that noise left and right because I'm changing the peak, intentionally putting the signal of who I want to listen to down in the in the edge of that filter. All right, 73 from N4 H&H. &H.